the specific request for the pavilion was to build the National Pavilion of Morocco. But specifically, it was a building, one of the very few legacy buildings on the site for Expo, that would be kept after the six month of Expo. We wanted people to feel things that they came with, uh, their, their own baggage, intersections that uh, communicate what is very specific to Morocco, but also what makes it universal. So it wasn't necessarily just about context, but it was about the perception and the narrative. And the way we did that is by using typologies and the materiality of working with Earth. We proposed probably the first form of industrialized construction in rammed earth. So we precast the blocks of rammed earth instead of doing them in situ. So we build a small factory next to the site, build the blocks, dry them, condition them, and then brought them on site and just raised them to assemble the building. The whole purpose was to open up a whole world in which rammed earth can be industrialized and used by a greater public. What we're using are tradition of forms, tradition of materials, tradition of types, but without copy. It's about interpretation and almost giving it another life. There are wooden screens on the windows, but it's a, it's a contemporary interpretation of those. They still work like traditional screens in that they provide shadow and intimacy, but reworked in a completely different way. There's a detail at the top that refers to the kasbahs in southern Morocco, the crenellation at the top. So there's small modern touches that relate to Moroccan traditional arts, but that aren't a, a mimicry of them. From the very beginning, we had to account for many aspects of this transformation and of the needs of the future users that we would not normally consider. So it was very challenging in the sense that we had to always account for two sets of problems, two sets of users. And so all throughout the process, we had to double design, let's say, 